Hey guys, it's Greg. In this video, I would like to show you the Eternauts. This is a co-op story-driven game. And this is a um, pr prototype and also a demo. So we only experienced like a very simple short uh, demo version of the game. That, that was only one scenario. So we only got a clean glimpse of the game and how it works. So keep this in mind. Uh, so I want to show you uh, a little bit of components. I will tell you more about the mechanics of the game. And this is it. So uh, this is a game where you are going to uh, experience the uh, events that were in a uh, in a comic, but this is uh, shown in a different perspective. So we are not you are not going to relive the uh, events from the comic. It's like in the same universe, but different people. So uh, as I said, this is a, a story-driven game where you are going to read a lot of paragraphs. You are going to unfold the mystery, and um, the game focuses mostly, on, I think, on a, on, a, on a narrative part. So uh, if you are interested in this title, just check out the rest of this video. So this is the Eternaut. As I said previously, this is a demo, so we have a little bit of... Uh, uh, I mean, we got a demo scenario, we have just a tiny part of components, we didn't get all of the decks and so on, so uh, just keep in, uh, keep in mind that we only got like just a glimpse of how the game is going to look like at the end. So, The Eternaut is, um, is a story-driven game where you are going to unfold the story by obviously uh, navigating your heroes through the world, through the map, uh, exploring locations, buildings and fighting monsters maybe, I don't know, because in this situation, a demo we there was no uh, option of with um, option of fighting monsters so how the game works i mean the core rules of the game are insanely easy and simple i mean the rule book is like four pages honestly and uh, maybe the final one going to be a little bit longer but i don't think so and uh, how this game works so you have we have to get this deck of cards activation cards and depending on the number of players different and the number of cards each player gets so in the in two player game as uh, as we played each player got six cards six yeah and everything is written on the card. So each card represents different action that you can perform. So you can move, you can uh, rummage, you can take action. You can also, there was, should be also take a break and there should be also coordinate. Um, so those are the basic actions. And the, in every round of the game, each player is going to play one card on those uh, player boards and those player boards are uh, assigned to each character that is that is present in a specific scenario. So in this scenario, we started with Medardo and with Alvaro, those two guys, um, and each of them got one of those of those boards, where there's where's a space for character and space for activation cards. Also, each of the characters can find some items and carry them. You can also create some items when you find right uh, right components. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of things. And fortunately, in this demo, we didn't uh, um, experience them. So each player is playing one of those cards, perform the action, and that's it. The, the, the end of the activation of this player. Another player plays one card, and again, this is this is it. This is the end of the end of the activation of the player. The End of the round happens when one of the characters gets four activation cards. When one of the characters gets four activation cards, then the time tracker moves by one to zero uh, to the end of the, uh, of the track, and all cards from each of the characters in a game are removed to the discard pile, and you can start another round. So the time, tra the time tracker which is over here, as I showed you in a second. This is, I think, the way to force you to um, to coordinate your actions and to uh, activate your your characters in a best possible way. So you are not going to waste too much time. So we started with two characters. The third one we found during the um, during the scenario that was Fran Francisco and Francisco got this green uh, player board and then uh, we got third character to play and activate. And in this game, each character can be activated by any of the players. So you are not, um, uh, players are not assigned to any hero. And this is very great 
uh, way to, to, to approach the game, especially this narrative game. Because th th this, this way of playing changes completely the dynamic of the game. You are not so emotionally attached to one of the key heroes. You are playing as all of them and you really want to succeed. So uh, this is it. Now, what you can find on the on the board. So we created this uh, this uh, uh, this location, this building with some tunnels. Um, during the game, we started with this those two, only two locations in the middle, and every every item on the board um, has this number. I'm going to show you has this number, and that means that you can interact with those tokens, and depending on who is interacting with those uh, locations and maybe uh, maybe you can use uh, some kind of item to open something like crowbar uh, depending on that different things can happen so for example i would like to open the door and here we have the token of door it's 115 and i've decided to try to open this door using crowbar uh, crowbar and uh, that action um, number for the crowbar is 210 so i need to make an id number matching those two numbers starting with the lower number and then this is higher number so we have 115 210 we need to find this this paragraph in our storybook and read it and something happens and that's it so um, this is the way to progress the narrative uh, narrative part of the game and you basically are going to read a lot of paragraphs in this game. It's like a little bit of a paragraph game um, uh, hidden in a board game. Another thing is that I am showing you here those standees, but we also got some um, some miniatures, so I, so we can expect that in the final product we also can get some of the miniatures. So this is some kind of contra alien contraption, I think, and a lot of uh, miniatures. I mean, a lot of. Um, people, characters that you can encounter or maybe the, they are going to join your uh, team. We have also some kind of um, a monster and uh, um, something like this, like uh, an obstacle. I, don't, I mean, th this, this, uh, this obstacle and this um, contraption, this device suggests that we, are, can, we can expect that we are going to get not only minis of the people and monsters, but also other uh, elements that are, you can find on the board. And this is very cool. I love those uh, 3D elements that makes the game uh, pop up on the, on the table. You can also see on the top over here that we are going to unlock a lot of additional content. Um, those boxes are obviously empty right now because, as I said, this is a demo, but uh, you can expect a lot of uh, unlockable content. Also, we didn't get all of the components in this game. I mean, this is only the demo. So we have like, for example, this the deck of Malice, those cards in here. We didn't get them. They are, they are going to um, also influence the game. I think this is like some more or less like event cards, I think. I'm just guessing. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, and obviously a deck of cards. So in this demo, we get a few of them. All of them you can find uh, on the map. We could find them on the map. You could um, like not merge, connect. <laughs> you could uh, connect those two things to make canister with attached a nozzle. So we could uh, add, add fuel to our car and so on and so on. So very interactive, story-driven game. It gives a little bit of uh, Resident Evil and it's not talking about a video game. It gives also um, um, this War of Mine, but it's also a little bit like Mansion of Madness, but without rolling the dice. Adventure with points of interest on the board, with a lot of paragraphs to read and uncover this this story, this mystery. Also, the, as I said previously, the game is based on a on a comics, on a comic book, The Eternaut. But in this game, you are not going you are not going to play the story from the comic book. Mm, plot in the game is set in the universe of the comic but this is not the same story. So you're not going to experience any spoilers in here. I mean, maybe some major uh, events from the comic are going to uh, be present in here, but not, uh, they're not going to be like one, two, 
uh, one from the comic. So this is it, this is the Eternaut, a uh, story-driven game with extremely simple uh, rules. Um, the game is going to be on a crowdfunding uh, platform and uh, if you like this game, uh, just check out their notification page and other games by, by um, uh, Pendragon Games because I think this is like third or fourth game uh, that we already uh, are showing you uh, by this publisher. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one.